Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all appropriate supervised ages outside the dilapidated Castle Grayskull in front of the Batastic Snake Mountain in the Hobo Jungle, I bring to you another Reno McDallas Review. Happy Bats giving y'all. So I've got a ton of Batman stuff and then just a couple of other mm, things. So we're going to start off with this beautiful thing that I got from the Tarjay. As you can see, uh, it does things. It does stuff. Um, apparently, battery... Oh, it does have the batteries in it already. Good, because I didn't really want to go play Battery Hunt. Uh, I didn't look to see that it was... I didn't even know it lit up, to be 100% honest. I was just like, oh, I want a Bat Cycle, right? Now, if you guys remember the, uh, the first one that came out, it was a uh, figure that was molded into it, and he would push on the legs, and he would move, and as a kid, that upset me. It, like, really bothered me. I don't know why. So I uh, I returned mine. Yeah, which I, I've only returned toys a couple of times as a kid. And I always felt bad like I was betraying a friend, right? It's probably because I'm, uh, you know, mental. So there is a card. Here is this. Here is the light-up base. So I'm going to go ahead and get this deterred a little bit, and we'll go from there. Okay, so this is it lit up. Um, we got brake lights. We got console lighting there for your dials. We got a headlight there. We got some sh cell shading going on. There's your movement. There's that. And turn it off with that switch right there. Okay, so your base here, you can flip the display. You've got your um, peeling out right there, or you could flip it and it just, it's hidden. Which, if I could get the thing to hide down here at the bottom. Yeah, so there you go. That way you can have your uh, bat cycle display without action or whatever. I think I'll just keep this in here just out of the simplicity of it when I go to display it. Of course, it came with a card. There we go. We know McFarlane loves to include his cards, which I'm... i got a stack of them things. I ought to get a old school uh, card binder, right? Put them all in there. There we go. There is the extra head, because everybody loves a little bit of extra head every now and then. So there is the bat helmet. Um, I was going to put the this Batman that's up there because he's got a broke leg and has a hard time standing. I was going to actually put him on it, but I may uh, may stand him next to it and uh, uh, put him on it. Let's see if he can. I mean, he doesn't. He's got fists on him. Let's just see how if it'll work here. Yeah. So even. I mean, I could drape it over that, sit him like this over the cycle to display it. I'll move in just a second so you can see it, guys. But yeah, I can kind of do this. There we go. Yeah, that'll look great up there on the shelf, don't you think? Yeah, that'll be great. I'll go ahead and switch, see if I can go ahead and switch his head over here. This is an older Batman, so I don't know if that'll work. Kind of hoping it does. There it goes. Look at that. All righty. Oh. Well, that's not good. I don't think that was supposed to do that. Uh-oh. Yeah, it'll go back in. Give me just a second. I need both hands, though. Well, the different sizes of the head is making me think that it's just meant for this new Batman. Because the, there wasn't a peg for this. There was just a hole. So I'm wondering if the head just pops off. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to display this yet. We'll figure it out, though. Here's your Condiment King arms. Extra hands. Got your bat... Battering in there, grapnels, very nice. And here's your back. Okay, there's your grapnel. Grapnel hand. Batarang. Got another little hand holder hand. Got some fists, and we're good to go. All right, so let's take a look at the Batman. Very cell shaded on one side. So I'll probably put this and this in uh display him with the bike and then have like Robin standing next to it or some such crap. It'd be pretty cool though. But yeah, that uh Cape's fabric. Uh it's rough, it definitely feels heavier duty than the superpowers line. There's his articulation. Uh there we go. This was a heck of a good cartoon, wasn't it? Man, I got lucky being born in 83 and getting to grow up and enjoy all the good stuff, right? Seeing G.I. Joe, went back on his TV, He-Man, all that. Lucky me. 
All right. Here's the Robin. He has some legs. Oh, and he's got. Uh, let's see, he's got a. He's got a grapnel too. Uh, looks like some karate open hands and some fists. I'm not gonna bother showing them to you because it is. It's fists and stuff. You've seen these things before. Yeah. So he's got some of those bolos things, right? Thrum. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Uh, he does not have a cloth cape. Very disappointing. Um, he is slightly shaded on the side as well. But yeah, uh, I mean, it's a cape. It's a good cut, and I like how it's like drapes over that direction. But at the same time, I would like it to have been, you know, fabric for just for consistency sake. But I, I get, I get it. So yeah, we'll put that robin there. That's about how I'm going to display that. Like he's like, yeah, it's pretty nice, pretty nice motorcycle, isn't it? No, I'm not doing my good Batman voice. Not for something like that. I just honor the Batman. Alrighty, so here we go. That's my Wolverine voice. Um, now I'm trying to do it, and not trying to do it. It's embarrassing, and I apologize. Oh my gosh, there's Mr. Freeze. Um, here. Oh, hey, how you doing? It's my man, too. There we go. And then, uh, so yeah, I went ahead and took that out of the package like an idiot, because I was sitting there talking and not paying attention. You know what sucks? I didn't get the Scarecrow yet. Yep, so uh, I'm going to have all these parts, right? Just hanging out, living the dream. Nothing. All right, sorry about that. I had all kinds of stuff going on there. Moose uh, knocked over the uh, trash can, trying to nose in there for some turkey bits. You know the drill. Anyway, so we where were we? We were we had just got him out of the package. Okay, his this tank is removable, as is his dome. Come on. There we go. So who would you like to see uh, play like a serious Dr. Freeze in the movie? How about that? That's a good question for you. There's that. That's pretty cool. And of course, his iconic gun. He really scared me when I was a kid. Like, I was surprised as a kid how scared I could get of like the Joker and stuff. Because in the movie, to me, he was just kind of dumb, right? I mean... Not dumb, but he was always oh, just a generic bad guy, right? But he was just way more twisted on a TV show. Uh, really? Are you just going to be a pain in the butt to fit in his hands? You are, aren't you? Yeah, let me pause it, guys. Oh, no, no. Well, shit. That's junk. Whatever. Well, that sucks, but oh well. It is what it is, as that old horrible saying goes. There is his tank. And his fishbowl rolled off somewhere. Oh, there it is. There we go. Hold on. Here we go. All right, let's put Broski together here. Yep, there's a little slot there that it slides in. To... You, you can yank it off. <laughs> it looked like you could yank it off from any direction you wanted, but felt like for a second there it just went right in a certain way once you had it. But maybe I'm just stupid. That could be very possible. Definitely be gluing this stuff on. Don't want to lose it. Or however it was. Get it sideways. Want to be a little kinky. Which way is which way does your tank tangle, baby? Anyway, yeah, that's a really cool figure. Um, of course, I knew it wasn't really going to have a lot of great articulation. It swivels there, but, but yeah, that's really cool. I like that. I think this is the first Mr. Freeze toy I've ever owned, to be honest with you. So, uh, but here's somebody who's been near and dear to my heart for a while. Oh, fucking awesome. Oh, that was awesome, and you know it. We got the gold label. Supergirl. Very lovely. DC Rebirth. I like when she first came back in that uh, Superman, Batman. That's my favorite version of the costume. Anyway, let me deter her real quick. All right, yeah. There we go. That's the card. Yeah, she's got different uh, leg stuff going on on this one than she actually does on the figure. So I guess she's dressed for sensible winters as not to make anybody feel weird when she's showing leg, you know, in the Metropolis winter. We'll go with that. This is 
Metropolis winner. Supergirl. Very nice. Very lovely. Pretty face sculpt. There we go. Very nice. And she's got the uh, no toe articulation, which is fine. We don't want... Apparently she has blue underwear. Um, no, I know it's where it pulls... You know, I know what it is. All right, I'm being funny. Anyway. But yeah, no extra accessories. Just says Marvel Gold. Or Marvel Gold. Whoops. DC Gold. Yeah, that was a mistake there. That was a freaking botchamania up in this. I am the table. All right. Anyway, she is at the table, and she's very nice. And we'll move on to the next. I uh, got the gold label. Magic. Collector edition. Bells and whistles in it all. Alan Scott. Who is apparently gay now. Which, hey, you know, it happens to some of us. Some of us are just late bloomers. That's all I'm saying. Hey, man. I'm just saying. Even though, yeah, I know it was, they reconned it. But you don't know, retcon it. But you get what I'm saying. I'm just being funny. I'm sorry. That's what I get for trying to be funny. Look at that. It's a stand and Alex Ross art and all that fabulous stuff. Let's get this. And then it's got a little normal McFarland stand in the bottom of some bitch. Hold on. Fire! Yeah. You can uh, throw some fire on his ring. He's like, pachow. He's doing respect knuckles, son. Look at that. Look at them respect knuckles that are out of focus. Respect knuckles. There we go. Very nice. He has his old school lantern. Very nice as well. Makes me happy in the pansies. There is his wonderful collector stand. It has the Kizard and the Kizak. And... Look at this. It's silver. Why? Because that's a joke between me and Lonnie Gaylor about a character called Silver that would, if you, his main witness is if you asked him why he likes Silver, he would go into a long parade about his mother. And, uh, yeah, me and Lonnie made some interesting supervillains. So this is a uh, another new character for this. I mean, she's not new, brand new. She came out in the G.I. Joe movies, right? Well, she, she wasn't even in those. The, the, the G.I. Joe guys, you'll have to correct me. I'm an amateur compared to most of you guys. I'm just old school cartoon stuff. I lose it after that, you know what I mean? Okay, pop her loose. Man, they got these things strapped, son. Okay. Here we go. Hi. How are you? Yeah. I'm trying to make this attractive for you. Hi. She's like, she walks in. She's all like, hey, guys. Thanks for... Hey, guys. Thanks for watching the Reno McDellis reviews. You're handsome. See, I'm a freaking master of voices. I know. I am a talent. Okay. So anyway, yeah, she's got happy fun katanas. And I, um, I'm not going to put them all on because this video is running long. But yeah, a uh, great looking character there. Um, it was the... But yeah, it was the movie, right? The, the Randy Quaid movie? The Randy Quaid vehicle? You guys remember. Not the other one with Joe Colton himself. Bruce Willis. No, no. But hey, you want to know what we're going to do? Since we're here anyway. Already ready for the love at the end of the tunnel or something. We've got Alan Scott. Well, hello, Twinks. How are you? I'm Alan Scott. See? I like that. Alan Scott. And then he's all like, hi, I'm here for the love. I'm a good man. You know, yeah. He's a good guy. And you know what? God bless him. All right, here we go. If he breaks down the door to Castle Grayskull, not only will he be the uh, first one to do it, he'll probably be he'd be the first gay one to do it too, right? Well, technically he'd be the first everything. So he could like really brag on that one. All right, ready? And, oh, no dice. Just freeze. Oh, no. Uh, Helix, part of Condiment Man, missed. Okay. And, of course, you know it, baby. we got to see if this thing is worth it. So, rev it up. You ready? Ho, 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 ho. Well, hey, I'm going to do it, like, right here. We're, we're doing this now, guys. Be good to yourselves. And remember, free the figs. And budden, budden, and... Oh, no. Sorry. Sorry, Batman. Sorry, Mark. 